when the Minnesota Timberwolves acquired Jared Vanderbilt a few seasons ago. He was widely viewed as a throw-in and a salary filler. Regardless, he entered the 2021-2022 season as an unknown entity, with only 92 games played in his career, and wasn't even 23 yet. The fans were excited about his potential and what he showed in his 64 games in the 2020-2021 season, but everyone knew that his 3-year-old deal, worth a total of just over $13 million, was a value that was far below his actual production. But how did Vanderbilt make a name for himself? And what's making him so good, fans thought he was being underpaid. Before that season started, the Timberwolves faced criticism for not having a clear starting five, especially at power forward. Although McDaniels was viewed as a possibility, the organization wanted to play him at small forward. Prince was also considered, but lacked the size to be a long-term solution. Eventually, through the process of elimination, the Timberwolves turned to Vanderbilt, who was thought off as a bench energy player. While the label of energy guy may carry negative connotations, every great team needs someone who brings that dominant energy. Vanderbilt quickly proved his worth, showing why he's much more than just a bench player. He brought athleticism, reckless abandon, and a tenacity that was lacking in the team before. He chases rebounds with the tenacity of a golden retriever chasing a tennis ball. He can switch onto opposing point guards while also battling in the post, and he's proven that players can be valuable offensive contributors even if they aren't great shooters. With all of this, he quickly became a legitimate starting NBA forward. At the start of that season, the Timberwolves were wildly praised for their new defensive scheme, which focused on keeping Carl Anthony Towns at the level of the screen to disrupt the ball handler. However, the real change came from everything that happened away from the ball, which required immense amounts of athleticism, energy, communication and desire from the rest of the team. And that's where Vanderbilt came in. His chaotic energy has been harnessed and redirected to produce positive possessions. He had a steal percentage that ranked in the 98th percentile and a defensive rebounding rate that ranked in the 75th percentile that season. Additionally, he ranked 5th in the league in deflections and 8th in defensive loose balls recovered. The most fascinating aspect of Vanderbilt's defense is the high intensity and effectiveness in which he defends every position. Despite playing the power forward role, Vanderbilt was the most switchable defender on the Timberwolves and he's more than happy to spread the frustration to any and all opponents, even the most famous and deadly like Steph Curry. What sets him apart from nearly every other defender in the league is his ability to combine his on-ball chaos with perceptive off-ball defense in the same possession. The Timberwolves' defense ranked as the 13th best defense in the league, and Vanderbilt's contribution was undeniable. And then there's his offense. In a league where three-point shooting and height are highly valued, Vanderbilt stands out as a non-seven-footer who can't shoot threes. Yet, he's shown that there are still ways to be a positive offensive contributor without shooting. When he was on the floor, the Timberwolves' offensive rating was 8 points higher than when he was off the floor. His offensive contributions are almost mirrored by his defensive efforts. He created additional possessions for the Timberwolves by corralling offensive rebounds or forcing turnovers through high-energy relocations and pursuits of the ball. He also capitalizes on easy scoring opportunities with his off-ball movement. He's active, timely, and puts himself in the right position, while others are ball-watching. He's a rare mix of outdated offense with modern defense, and shouldn't be one of the most most impactful power forwards in the league. However, his willingness and eagerness to do the dirty work have made him indispensable. Vanderbilt is not with the Timberwolves anymore, but it was when he was with them that his rise began. He defends every position on the floor at an extremely high level, and his energy, length, and ceaseless pursuit are nightmare fuel for any opponent.